All right, here's one of the secondary uh, female reproductive structures, and this is the breast with its mammary gland tissue. So just a little fun fact for you, mammals are, uh, identif they're called mammals because they have mammary glands. That's really the unique contribution that mammals, uh, the unique feature that mammals have compared to a lot of other organisms. You may say, well, they're you know warm-blooded, lots of animals are that, they have hair, Basically, hair is the same thing as feathers and scales, so that's not interesting. But this is really an advancement. This is something that you can feed your kids with where you don't have to take them out of the cave or wherever you were living back when we evolved, right? Back when mammals evolved, so under a rock probably. But you can stay in a safe place and feed the offspring. Now, in a human, there's a couple of different parts to this uh, breast that I'd like to point out. So let's start where the milk is produced. And the milk's produced down here in these little pockets of glandular uh, uh, material called lobule. So this is a lobule and another lobule and these uh, these cells produce uh, a secretion that we transport down these lactiferous ducts right here. So this is a milk duct if you wanted to be simple about it but lactiferous uh, lactation and it they all center from going all the way around the breast here to this area right here the nipple the outer ring here is the areola, and then this protuberance, this papillum here is the nipple. Now it, it really acts like a like a target. <laughs> okay, the the little baby is, you know, got some kind of you know can see and aims for the dark spot. Um, the breasts are supported and, and uh, protected by adipose tissue out here, and uh, that's it. Cut.